Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Justin Nelson's Projects. Today we're going to talk lug nuts. Now, before you click away, let me explain. Have you ever had a lug nut that's either stripped, over tightened, or cross threaded? Have you ever encountered a car with mismatched and even different sized lug nuts? In this video, I'm going to address all of these issues. We're also going to talk about a couple specialty tools that aren't very expensive and you'll find extremely handy to have in your toolkit. Now, not all lug nuts are created equal. I'm sure this applies to many other auto brands, but I know specifically from personal experience, any GM or Chrysler from the early 2000s and up generally have these. They comprise of a steel lug nut and an aluminum cover. I guess it's cheaper than chrome plating and saves the company maybe 57 cents for every car they build. Seriously, why do they keep using these things? What inevitably happens is they either get over tightened or cross threaded by a tire shop, a brake shop, or any inexperienced mechanic. And when you try to pull them off, this happens. Or this. Or even this. Often the aluminum strips off or the steel nut underneath may rust a little, making the aluminum bulge. The solution really is to replace all of them with proper lug nuts. This whole set of 20 costs just 20 bucks. It's a dollar a lug nut. Amazon links are in the description below. They're available in multiple colors as well, but you do need to know the proper size. Some auto parts stores may have something like this that you can use to find the correct thread pitch and size using one of your existing lug nuts. Notice that my local parts store is missing a couple of those studs and the website listed there, well, it doesn't seem to know either. With Amazon, once you enter your vehicle information, it'll generally find the correct fit for you. And using my Amazon link as a starting point helps this channel. If in doubt, use your favorite search engine and find out exactly the thread and pitch size that fits your vehicle and how long they need to be for your particular wheels. You can of course measure that last part just using one of your existing lug nuts. Having damaged, over tightened, or cross threaded lug nuts could potentially leave you stranded on the side of the road, unable to change a flat tire simply because one of the lug nuts just will not come off. So I recommend picking up a full set of better lug nuts and replacing all of them. For a five lug car, that's 20 lug nuts and you don't need to jack up the vehicle or remove the wheel at all. You can simply replace one lug nut at a time using a star pattern as you go. So, how do you get the old ones off if they're really badly damaged? Well, I recently discovered a couple of great solutions. This first is called a flip socket, which has two sides. You insert an extension and the half inch receptacle is in the center. Each side has a six point hex pattern that is exactly half a millimeter larger and half a millimeter smaller than the lug nut size for your car. In my particular case, my car has 19 millimeter lugs, so the flip socket I chose is 18.5 and 19.5. Obviously, choose the appropriate size for your vehicle. You use the larger size if the aluminum is bulged or damaged like this one, and use the smaller if the aluminum is completely missing. That little half millimeter makes a big difference. The next problem involves a bit more work and leaves me with one final trick you'll see in just a moment. So let's say you've got a lug nut that's completely rounded off and no socket will grab it. Well, there's a tool for that as well. It's generally sold so that you can grab onto these locking lug nuts where you might be missing the key. However, this tool is great for removing stripped or rounded off lug nuts as shown here. You simply hammer it onto the lug nut in question and give it everything your impact can give it. Since the carvings inside the socket are reverse threaded, the more it fights, the tighter it grabs. Remember, once you've done this, most likely that lug nut will be completely useless. Now, I bought this particular Maddox set at AutoZone simply because I needed to finish the job that day and I was kind of stuck in a bind there. But I will link to a result for similar products from Amazon below. This particular set also comes with this little ramrod making it easy to get the lug nut back out of the socket. You can, of course, use a large screwdriver or any other method you might use in other situations to remove a nut that's stuck in a socket. But this nice round rod is about perfectly sized and works quite well. Now, on my next automotive video, I'll address what to do when you accidentally break a stud or you simply need to replace a stud because it's stripped or it's been cross-threaded. It's not as difficult as you might think. With all that said, I hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. 
please comment below if you had a similar experience or if you have other tricks or tips that might be useful for the community. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching. YouTube thinks you might like this video next. Jeez, I don't know how I got through that whole script without making a single bees nuts joke. Oh, uh, <laughs> see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.